Hello and welcome back to another video. It is of course Halloween week. <laughs> well it's not actually Halloween just yet, but it's, it's close. When you're watching this, it probably will be close to Halloween. Now I don't get scared that easily, and especially with like horror films and things like that, it's very tricky to actually scare me. But one thing that does creep me out is the past. That's not getting deep, but just like the looking at photographs of old Halloweens gives me the heebie-jeebies. It does creep me out a little bit. So I thought I'd scour the internet and find some of the creepiest old photographs of Halloween. I'm gonna go through and rate these pictures on how scary I think they are. And hopefully we can treat it like a therapy session and by the end of this video, maybe my slight phobia of old Halloween images will disappear. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, image number one. Surprise me. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> See, instantly, this is, I don't know when this is from. There's no backstory to any of these photographs, but uh, you can just see straight away. Back in those days, it was rare to have two eyes on your costume. Double the eyeballs, double the... Exactly. Do you know, the fact, the fact that they're kids makes it even more scary for me, so I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10 on the scary meter. Don't like it. Freaks me out. Okay, next image. The, there's something about the. Do you, know what, do you know what the scariest thing about this picture is? The kids on the end, like the one in the middle, looks like some sort of de demonized Teletubby. She's got a smile on her face, so it instantly makes me feel a bit less on edge. Donkey, not that scary. I'm not scared of that donkey costume. But the two kids on the end, they're, they're, you can tell that they're the ones that have like asked this photograph. They're the ones that have pressurized the other two in the middle to, to play whatever weird game they're playing in the woods. Kitty on his left is clearly wearing his dad's coat, but also has the exact same legs as me. I mean, that. that just crop into that bit there. That is my legs. The little weird tay tubby in the middle is uh, is making me feel not as on edge. So I'm gonna give that a five. It's it's creepy, but it's also not too creepy. A five out of ten. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Next weird creepy old Halloween picture. Don't like that. Do not like that. That is creepy. Imagine you're driving on the road. You look out your window and you just see that. Are the kids all? I can't work it out. The girl on the left has zero neck. There's, there's no neck going on there at all. Also, what she got in her hand? Put it on like a voodoo doll or something. I can't tell. Although there's not much effort gone in. They're just wearing masks and he's wearing a Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that a four. It's scary. If, if, if they were chasing me, I, I would freak out. I'd probably drop kick one in the face and then I'd probably end up going to prison for kicking a child. Next image. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's this kind of thing. Do you know what? The weird thing is, this could be a, it could have been taken this year. You have no idea. They just made it look old. What are they even dressed as? Some sort of weird Pinocchio character. With, they, they've just got like cereal boxes. Put them on their heads. Put a mask on the cereal boxes. You can see they're all really homemade. Like they've done it at school. And they're in the woods. I don't like that. That for me is a, is a big no-no. Not my favourite. I would say that's, that's a solid eight. On the creepo meter, and they've got like weird, ear, like weird Shrek ears. They've got like ears poking out the side and everything. And I feel like something like that nowadays would be way more freakier than some of the, the masks you get in supermarkets. I always find that supermarket costumes, I, there's, there's no effort that goes into it. Back in these days, look, they put effort in, homemade effort. There's something about a homemade costume that really creeps me out on Halloween. So if you really want to scare someone this year on Halloween, make your own costume. Trust me. The weird thing is, the worse you make it the scarier it is. Okay, next image. I mean, that is basically in my sister's house. My sister has the same staircase, I'm pretty sure. Is, is that Zoe? No. <laughs> is that Zoe with the thing on? I can't tell. You know what my sister's like? She gets well into Halloween and any sort of like public holiday. This could be a photograph from Zoe's house from last year. I have no idea. The thing about that little broom on the left, she definitely got the short straw. Is it she or a he on the far left? Either way, that person definitely got the short straw. That's a long way off a of Nimbus 2000, let me put, let's put it that way. The B-Tech Hogwarts right here. It makes me think, I wonder what kind of weird sh they got up to. Even the little lamp that's coming down from the ceiling just creeps me out. I don't like it. Don't know where those broomsticks ended up that night, that's for sure. But yeah, creepy. I'm giving that a seven. Before we go on to the next one, uh, let me know down below in the comments what you are going as for Halloween this year and what your costumes are, or if you haven't got them yet, what you want to be for Halloween this year. On with the video! <laughs> now this picture is, you can tell this picture is really old. What the hell is, we'll get on to the weird mushroom ladies in a bit, but what the hell is this guy supposed to be and what is he doing? Some sort of like weird gnome lumberjack. A garden gnome, that would make sense. Some sort of weird garden gnome wearing a bin bag. He's got like an old Father Christmas beard on and a giant like mole on his forehead. And he's, is he wearing prosthetics? I can't tell. It's a proper old picture. You can tell this is a real old picture as well. But Mushroom Ladies, for me, they, they steal the show. I would have given this, if I saw this that guy on his own, I would have given it a six. I mean, that's quite scary, but look at his school shoes. That's not, that's fooling no one. But the Mushroom Ladies, in a weird way, 
they make it not as scary but also just really creepy at the same time. So I wonder if they're wearing clothes underneath the mushroom outfit. I wonder how hot it got in those. How do you, how do you make that? If you're gonna make that from scratch now, what would you use to make it? You, just, you can't make stuff like that anymore. That's that's some serious effort that's gone into that costume. And I think, you know, people nowadays, they're wanting to wear less on Halloween. They wanna expose themselves more and wear less. Ladies nowadays should start going as mushrooms again. Can we make that a petition? I don't know. Send me in a picture of you in your best mushroom costume. <laughs> She's actually gone to the extra effort on the right and put an extra bit of fungus on it in her hair, look. Is that a fungus or is that just like a little rose in her hair? I can't tell. It's not too creepy. The lady on the left is smiling. The one on the right is definitely not up for this. She's clearly been put against her will. And I feel sorry for her. I'm gonna give that a, a, <laughs> I'm gonna give that a six out of 10. It's not that scary. Um, if the guy had an ax or something, I'd bump it up a level. But it's, it's kind of creepy, but it's kind of cute at the same time. I'm giving it a six. What the hell is that? That has freaked me out. On all kind of levels, this freaks me out. We've got two, like, uh, remember the Michelin Man? It's like that. A Halloween version of the, what are they supposed to be? Like, at some point, they've had a meeting and said, right, let's go as this. But what, what, how do you explain that? What makes this really creepy for me is the fact that they're, they're, they're not real eyes. I can't tell. You can tell they're real people underneath all that. It looks claustrophobic AF. Um, and all the people behind them just freak me out. Especially this little kid here on the right who's just staring at them. And the guy on the far left with his big, like, his little tiny little hat, but incredible facial hair. To me, they just look like a Doctor Who villain. Um, and if I saw one of those coming towards me, like how do they? How do they see? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna say what it reminds me of. But if you just look at all the wrinkles, like look at the, the top, the top third of them, the little bit on top of their head, and the, the the wrinkliness around it just reminds me of it being very cold in winter. You've forgotten to wear trousers. I, I didn't say it. I've just now put the image in your head. You tell me that does not look like a shriveled head. I, I didn't say it. But for me, this does creep me out. Everything about this picture is exactly what this whole bit is about. I want backstories. I'm giving that an eight. A definite eight. Close to a nine. Next up, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, it's this kind of thing, like old New York. The kids, were, is that a plunger? Is that a plunger? I can't work it, I can't work it out. If I had caused a giant blockage in my toilet from for whatever reason, and I called Dino Rod out and this guy turned up, I would not let him in. I'd look for the peep and be like, nope, not today. You're not Dino Rodding my toilet any day of the week. You can tell he's walking to that camera with some pace, like he's about to plunge the shit out of someone. Don't like it. You can't see his eyes as well, which creeps me out. I'm giving that a seven out of ten. <laughs> oh Jesus. I don't like this. There's something about this. Now, this is a real thing, right? So apparently, now you know when you go to Disneyland and you turn up and you get to meet Mickey Mouse, Goofy, and all the different characters, they, they walk around those costumes. Believe it or not, this is actual costumes of when Disneyland first opened, back whenever it was in the, like the 1940s or whatever, or 50s. This is what was walking around at, at, the, at, the, at the theme park. Can you imagine back then walking around and seeing that? The one on the left, walking towards you, waving at you, running towards you to get a picture with you. I would run the other way. To me, that, that, that these things should be at Tully's Farm, not at Disneyland. They are terrifying. The one in the middle with giant hands, the one on the right. The, the, the fact that this was at a kid's theme park terrifies me immensely. I'm giving that a 9 out of 10. Controversial, maybe. I know a lot of you won't agree with that, but for me, that creeps me out more than any of the others. Ah! Ooh, this is another one. <laughs> I can't actually look at that. <laughs> I genuinely cannot look at that. The, how have they made these? Like, you can't get masks like this anymore. These are homemade. Like, their parents have probably made these out of, like, paper mache or something. The fact it's an old setting, they're sat there, they're just, they're just kids wearing masks. It's probably, there's no, it's no big deal. But for some reason, looking at that now, they look like real human heads, like adult human heads. I think it's a proportion thing. It's something about these giant, slightly too big heads with quite realistic features on a child's body in that kind of setting. It just, it puts me on edge. I really don't like it. Once again, I'm, I'm, I'm giving that a strong eight. I do not like that at all. Moving on. Oh, see, you're back again. The, like, the, the, the parents, it's the parents' fault. It's the parents' fault. They've, they've got their kids. They put these creepy ass masks on them. Like, what's that thing on the right? It's like a bold dolphin with a, with a chef hat on. What is that even supposed to be? It's got a beak. And you've got Freddy Krueger in the middle and then a lion on the left. The lion I'm not too scared of, but it's the other two that creep me out. And the fact they've got a crystal ball in the middle, like the parents have set this up on purpose to make like Halloween cards and it and it's worked. Like that would freak anyone out. Oh, I hate it. This is getting, for me, this is getting another eight. We've had no tens yet. Oh, until now, 
Like, ah, uh, that pumpkin head on the right. That's, that's, that's a proper homemade pumpkin. And it's, it's the way they're stance. It's like that, the little hands like this. Like, the stances of it. Ugh, I hate it. The girl on the left is just wearing a, a McDonald's bag on her head that they've like covered, colored in black. That's freaky. It's like they've drawn out her, like scribbled out her face. For what reason, I wonder? They should make an actual horror film just based around this kind of stuff. That for me is getting a... No, I'm giving it another eight. So, so far, nothing has come close to those creepy ass Disney characters. Ooh, Mickey Mouses. Okay, next up. Like, something like that would creep me out. Yeah, I like that. That's, but then it's like a donkey. Like for me, why? Why? It's a common theme as well. Because remember that other picture where this one was like a donkey? Like a lot of people go as animals for Halloween back in those days. Why is that? Like, if I saw that in a field, as you can imagine, I'd go nowhere near it. For me, I'm going to give that a four. If it ran towards me, I'd bump that up to a seven or eight. <laughs> oh, bless. He's got football boots on, the like potato sack for trousers. Is that, is that his kneecaps? He's got the biggest kneecaps I've ever seen. Rubber gloves, a, bat, a homemade Batman shirt. I like that. I think that's actually cute. Like he, I mean, he looks fed up. His wife has told him to do that. She's been like, look, just do it for the kids, all right? We've had, we've had a hard year. Just put it on and take your photograph taken. But I don't want my photograph taken. Go on, yeah, Batman. All right, all right. Nah, I feel sorry for him. That's not scary at all. If anything, I feel sorry for this guy. I want to take him under my wing. No pun intended. No, no bat pun intended. I'm going to give this a, a two. Not scary. Right, and there we go. That was just some of the creepy ass pictures I found on the internet of old Halloween. Halloween when it really, really was scary. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it's kind of got you into the Halloween spirit. I love Halloween so much. I, I, do you know what? I prefer it. I like it better than my birthday. And it's... It's close to being on a par with Christmas. Maybe not, but it's well and truly up there. Let me know what ratings you give the pictures. Which one did you think was the scariest? Which one did you think was the least scariest? Um, if you know any of the backstories behind these pictures, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd be really interested to see that. And with that, I'm gonna end today's video there. If you enjoyed this video and it got you in the good Halloween spirit, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your mates. Uh, I will see you again very, very soon with another vlog. But remember, I'm not a daily vlogger.